Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I am bringing you top interview question and answers based on JavaScript strings. So if you are attending any JavaScript interview, they are bound to ask you some questions around strings. So today we will learn all about that. If you have any doubts, any queries, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Also, please friends, help me, encourage me by subscribing to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you so much. Let's get started with JavaScript strings, top interview question and answers. So the first question is, how do you check whether a string contains a substring? So for example, if they might give you an example of a string and they will, they will ask you, can you write me a query which will find a substring? So you can do it in three ways using ES6 uh, method called includes by saying, uh, let's define a string, say variable main string equal to hello or something. And then we'll write main string dot includes. So using this method, we can find if it includes a substring or not. This will return you true or false. We can also do using older uh, environments and methodologies like using index of. So we can say string dot index of substring equal to not equal to equal to minus one. It will tell whether it is there or not. And then we have other solutions like you can also use a regular expression, but that those are too costly. The best way is to use ES6 includes. All right. So the next question is, how do you make first letter of the string in an uppercase? So if I give you a string, <coughs> how do you make it? <coughs> sorry, uh, how do you make it uppercase? So we can write a simple method which will take a uh, char zero, char at, that means character at zero to uppercase. So this will return you the character at zero and then um, it will give you that particular string into an uppercase. How do you check if a string starts with another string? You can use ECMAScript 6 string. So we can use something, uh, there is a method called <coughs> starts with. So using that, we can uh, definitely check if a string starts with another string or not. So here we are saying, uh, say it's dot starts with morning or not. So it is checking for the string at the beginning. How do you trim a string in JavaScript? So JavaScript provided a, a method called trim dot trim with using which we can trim the white spaces at the beginning or at the end. <clears throat> How do you define multi line strings? So you can define multi line strings literals using character. So character followed by terminator like if you see slash back uh, front slash. So this is a uh, which says that it's a line terminator. What are the strings, string methods available in regular expression? Regular expressions has two string methods called search and replace. The search method uses an expression to search for a match and returns the position of the match. The replace method is used to return a modified string where the text is replaced. So we can define them as string.search or string dot replace. How do you search a string for a pattern? You can use test method of regular expression in order to search for a string for a pattern. In the below example, if you see variable pattern equal to slash u slash, and then we can do something like console dot log and I'm just logging pattern dot test. How are you? So it should give you true because it has u in it. Now, what is the result? What would be the result of one plus two plus three in quotes? So remember the output will be 33 because it will first do addition of one and two. And since the third is a uh, string template literal or, or you can say string, it will just concatenate it and not add it. So the value is 33. How to convert string to title case with JavaScript. 
So to title case, we can write a method which will take the values and probably put a dot replace uh, using dot replace the method we just saw in previous inter questions. And we can just put some regular expression to check and convert it into caps. <coughs> Now, what are template literals? Template literals or template strings are strings allowing to embed expressions. They are enclosed by the backtick character. Now, this is a ES6 feature. Uh, so you'll use uh, any variable equal to greetings and then equal to backtick followed by the string. And inside that we can have some variables. All right, so that brings us to the end of this series or this episode on JavaScript strings. So these were the top interview question and answers around JavaScript strings. <clears throat> so I hope you like it um, and you are learning, you're finding it valuable. Please do like this video and also please subscribe to the channel to keep supporting me. I'm bringing much more episodes for you, which will help you prepare for your interviews. See you in the next episode.